What's up guys, it's me, Jan here, and uh, this time around I'm going through this one uh, specific driving technique and comparing with the traditional heel and toe a bit. Uh, and I used to use this technique at the beginning of my <laughs> age pattern career, but um, yeah, since th then I've later learned like proper techniques and all that, so I've stopped using this, or at least I'm trying to stop using this. But eventually, sometimes it's still a bit of an improvisation that I use it, but that's not being used by much. And uh, yeah, it's not technically a cheat, so no need to crucify me for cheating or anything like that. I'd like to live a long, happy life. So no assassinations, please. Thank you. Let's head out to the track and see what the hell I am talking about. So here we are at the Dirt Fish uh, Free Roam area. And uh, yeah, usually when you're driving an H pattern gearbox car, you heel and toe on the way down the gears. And that is done so that the rear wheels don't break traction so much when you're breaking down. And uh, this is more used on circuit racing since they're having traction on the rear wheels is a lot more crucial than in rallying where we are on the mostly on the loose surfaces. But uh, yeah, the heel and towing goes that you brake, you kick in the clutch, blip the throttle, and then downshift and lift the clutch. And uh, yeah, that was really tricky for me since I was, before that, before I got this pedal set, I was just driving with two pedals and always braking with my left foot. So uh, yeah, of course I was familiar w with it and I wanted to keep braking on my left foot all the time, so I... I'm not sure if this is something that I've completely made up, but I haven't seen it anywhere else on the internet. So uh, what I did was I approached a corner, braked on the left, blipped the clutch with the left foot, accelerated on the right, and then downshifted and lifted the clutch. And um, yeah, it was easier for me back then since I didn't use shoes to drive or for driving. So it was easier for me to feel the edges of the pedals with clutch and brake and uh, I was able to use this technique quite well but then uh, I realized that that's not possible with the real car there's way much more resistance on the clutch here and uh, usually the brake and clutch are not that close to each other it would require some sort of a specific modification for the car to be able to do this on the car in real world so I wanted to use a technique that is more commonly used in real world so that I my experience will be a bit more realistic hopefully and uh, and uh, also that that when I was downshifting with this it, it shows really well on the to Corsa when there's the telemetry thing in the right bottom right corner you break with your left and then I what I used to do was I like properly lifted the brake in order to access the clutch and that's not good you want to keep a constant brake pressure when you're braking for a corner you don't want the pedal to go like this that's fucking unstable but uh, so then I've tried to learn to shift without a clutch uh, no not without a clutch but with the right foot braking instead and yes I know that there's still some work to do for me to perfect my heel and towing but uh yeah it's a lot better now than it was three years ago for example when i didn't even have a clutch for my gaming testing but uh yeah let's take a look at how these different techniques look in action so first let's go with the heel and toll break and uh blip of the throttle and clutch and all that and uh let's take another example there but uh yeah and now for the left foot heel and toe it's it's quite a different concept and uh, as you can probably see my brake pedal isn't like in the same position at least as well as it is on on the heel and toe so 
so uh, yeah also for the stability i like to use right foot for heel and towing now but uh yeah those are pretty much the uh two techniques and there's quite a bit of difference and uh, now i do feel a lot more comfortable with the proper right foot heel and toe since uh i've just learned it a lot more and uh, also as I might have already said before, I can't remember anymore <laughs> that I wanted to learn the proper heel and toe technique since that's what you use in a proper edge pattern car as well. And then of course sometimes I do break also like that I break first and then downshift. But uh, yeah, it really depends on the situation and uh, all that. But the main reason I don't do it anymore is because I just want to be... I want to be driving more like they do in the real world with edge pattern gear shifts and also because I didn't learn it so well on the left foot that I was able to keep uh, like a constant pressure. And uh, yeah, those are pretty much the main things. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for now. Here we have, uh, let's show it once more, the difference. So first, uh, a left foot heel and toe, so to say. And this is really simple on the right foot. But the timing is a bit maybe off for me. And here's a proper heel and toe. So yeah, you can see a difference there. But uh, yeah, I hope that is cleared up something for someone or if not shame really but uh yeah that was a technique that i used to use when i was driving edge pattern cars like way back in dirt rally when it first came out but nowadays i'll i'm trying to force myself to stick to the either heel and toe with the right foot or then just downshifting after braking so uh yeah those those are the techniques that I usually use but of course you need to improvise sometimes and there might might be an odd shift like this still but uh, yeah that's what I have to tell now and uh, I think I should go through clutchless shifting in some other video later if you guys are interested uh, yeah that was the video uh, don't know if that's a real thing or not the left foot heel and toe i didn't see anything didn't get any results i mean i did look at the first page of google but if it's not there it's not existing so um yeah if you've seen this before or you've done this before let me know in the comments and uh yeah if you want to see more of this kind of stuff where i'm trying to explain some techniques and all that let me know as well I might not be able to explain all of that. I'm not the best driver, definitely. And uh, I'm not the driving instructor or anything. But if it's something that I have some knowledge about or if it's something that I can easily learn about, well, uh, yeah, I can try to tell you guys something about it. But if not, then I'm hoping for someone else to do a bit of a tutorial or such about that. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. See you guys on Sunday with another Asset Talk Corsa series kicking in. This time it's going to be the almost GT series uh, or the mostly GT series. I think it's the accurate translation. Five race weekends uh, with GT4, GT3s, gt 2 slash GTEs, uh, GT1s and then Group C uh, race to kick uh, or the, to finish the season with and uh, yeah i'm really happy about that hopefully we can get enough drivers for that and it's for finnish ps4 drivers only so if you uh, reach those qualifications and are interested let me know and uh, yeah but that's all for now thanks for watching bye bye